All right, folks, if you're a prepper, turn this video off. It's not for preppers. This is for homesteaders. If you're not educated enough to read material safety sheets and follow directions, this stuff here is poisonous. So to y'all, just shut it off. Luckily, I make enough people mad on my videos that most of the stupid people have already run off from my channel. To the rest of y'all, I'm going to give you a secret. It's called copper sulfate. Many municipalities use it in purification of the water that we drink every day. But it's used and then filtered out. So, proper use of it. In other words, don't pour copper sulfate in the water and because the water looks crystal clear, just drink it. No, you have to filter it out. But, say poo hits the fan, you look at your neighbor's swimming pool and it's got algae, you know, it's just green. Pure green slime, everything all over it. Depending on the size of the pool, let's say it's a big pool, you know, one of those Olympic sized pools, you know, the size of a big pond, you big. It only takes a cup, one cup of copper sulfate. You put it in your hand and just sling it all over the pond. Don't dump it in one spot. Just spread it out all over the whole uh, swimming pool. Come back in three or four days and it will be crystal clear. That's right. That's how potent this stuff is. And that's why idiots out there shouldn't use it. Alright. Now you can mix it in spray bottles and use it as a fungicide on cattle or horses with hoof rot. It's an antifungal, uh, it's a very potent antifungal uh, the chemical. And it's made just out of copper. Antibacterial too. So needless to say, you can spray it on a substance and fungus and bugs and stuff like that won't grow on whatever you've sprayed this stuff on. But it's not meant for you to consume either. So I'm just going to use an example. If you spray it on your cupboard to keep all the funk from growing on it, you turn your glasses upside down, don't drink out of the glasses unless you wipe all of the, the rims off, okay? You know, don't put it to your mouth. You know, wash it out. So copper sulfate is a very powerful emergency preparedness thing to keep in your uh, homesteading supply. So below, I in the more info section, I put links to a 10 bag, 10 pound bag, and a 50 pound bag. When storing this chemical in that quantity, I recommend you get some gallon size glass jars. Glass is better because glass doesn't react to almost anything. And uh, get plastic lids to seal it. Because if you put metal in there, it'll corrode it. So get the heavy plastic gallon sized jugs. And that's how you'll store it in a dark area. It also can be light sensitive. Or you can paint the glass jar black. You know, whatever. But you want to keep it dark, you want to keep it sealed, and uh, in a cool, dry place, okay? You don't want it to run moisture, so you may want to get some silica gel packs and throw in there. And the silica gel, don't just throw silica in there. Use some common sense. Keep the silica gel in a, you know, tightly meshed container in its own. You know, just with some air holes poked in it, so it removes moisture. Needless to say, copper sulfate is a very potent chemical that can be used for good. Uh, all those swimming pools that will look like, oh man, they're nasty, you can't drink out of them. You throw a little bit of this stuff in there, and then 
you know, you, after it clears out, you can't drink it just because it looks clear. Otherwise, you'll get copper sulfate all in it. But the crystallized, pretty, the copper sulfate pretty make, much makes everything clump together. Dip out in your five-gallon bucket. Put a few drops of chlorine in it, which will kill any of the other viruses or whatever. So you copper sulfated it. You've waited three or four days. You dip it out few drops of chlorine, you give it an hour or two of the chlorine, then you run it through your ceramic filter, you've got perfectly good drinking water. Now, why am I the only prepper that has brought up copper sulfate? I'm going to tell you why. Because all the others that speak better than me, I'll give it. I'll give it a get like, people like Yankee Prepper. He's not Yankee Prepper. He changed his name. He's a very eloquent speaker. He speaks eloquently. Those people from up north, they they their speech is very good, and they, they think they're smart because they speak. But you know what? Me being not only growing up on the farm, but 25 years of driving a truck and hauling all these different chemicals and going to these plants, going to the water treatment centers and all like that, I just happen to see how all these other things work. And for some reason or another, while I was hauling the stuff, I was always the person asking questions like, Hey, what do you do with this stuff from hauling? Uh, Damascus Earth. I found out about it when I was hauling it out of California. Yeah. You yeah, eating them Snickers bars? You got clay dirt in it. How about that? <laughs> you got dirt in your Snickers bar. You didn't know that, did you? That's it. I've hauled 45,000 pounds of it, and I asked them what it was used for. So, anyway. Back to the uh, copper sulfate. Copper sulfate is not for brain dead people to use. So if you're one of those people that don't know anything, I mean, if you can read a book and then five minutes later forget what it said, don't buy this stuff. All you're going to do is poison yourself, poison your family, and you're going to say, but they already said to do it. No, these already said you were too stupid to use the stuff. I am only telling the people that are knowledgeable enough to look it up, to Google the uses of it, find out what ratios you mix it at, and then it is a very useful chemical. All right, I've got you two links below. It's not that expensive. Fifty pound bag is under a hundred bucks, and it, you know, like I say, if you store it in a light, tight, airtight container, it's going to be good for a long, long time. So, for any of y'all looking to something to add to your your uh, uh, long-term homesteading supplies, I'm going homesteading. This is for homesteading. People that want to live after everybody else is running around like chickens without their heads on going, ah, hey, the sky is falling. For those of you out there that want to have a little something put us put aside besides the chlorine, you know, the uh, powdered chlorine. Oh, by the way, powdered chlorine. Stare, store it in a glass container. Do not keep it in its box because everything around it it will cause it to rust. I need to make another video just on the uh, chlorine thing because most people don't understand. They put this box of chlorine on the shelf in their basement and all of a sudden everything around it is rusted. Don't store it. Don't store it. Store it in the quart jars, you know, the mason large mouth with the plastic lids and even then I would tape up that lid to make sure none of the fumes of that chlorine got out because it will ruin everything else around it if you don't seal it up tight. Same way with copper sulfate. 